Hello everybody, I'm Robert from Cloud Sigma. I'm the co-founder and CEO. In this short video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily move an existing system into Cloud Sigma. It's um, very important to understand that you can use any x86 based operating system within Cloud Sigma. That includes all variants of Windows, Linux, and even the BSD such as FreeBSD, NetBSD, etc. And you can use your own custom version of the kernel or whatever you might need to do. So I'm going to show you how you can easily take an existing custom image and bring this into Cloud Sigma and start using it. So you'll see I'm in the web app already. And if I go to storage and then drives, I can then go ahead and create a new drive. And this is how we begin the process of uploading a new system. So I'm going to call this my own kernel for argument's sake. And this is going to be a new drive. Then what I do is I create a, a size for the drive. Um, I'm going to leave it at one gigabyte for this demonstration. But if, obviously, if it was larger, you would, you would size that to be large enough for the system that you're intending to upload. And then the final. Oh, by the way, you can also choose between a hard drive and a CD-ROM. So you can even in upload in-store CDs into the cloud as well. We have a lot of customers that do that. So the final step is to browse and look for the server image. So I need to go to my desktop. And then you can see here I've got a ready ISO image to upload. And I simply select that image. It's registered that for uploading. It's just over a gigabyte, so let's let's make this one and a half gigabytes. I then save that, and it will start the process of uploading that drive and creating that uh, drive image within Cloud Sigma. And then once that's complete, you will see that drive appear in your own list of drives within your private account. So if I go back now and show you the list here, you'll see firstly that the drive we just created is now in an uploading state. And as long as you're logged into the web app, you can actually pause and resume that upload if your connection was disrupted for some reason. But you can also see I have all the other drives that are private drives within my account. And once that upload completes, it will become available just like all the other drives in my account. So it's really that simple. And just as a final note quickly, it is covered in another tutorial. If I wanted to download a drive, I can simply click the download link and the same process will happen in reverse. So really it's very easy to move data into and also out of Cloud Sigma's cloud. So thanks for your time today. I hope that was self-explanatory and happy computing.